This video covers how to interpret velocity and acceleration to tell if an object is speeding up or slowing down. It is often assumed that when an object has a positive acceleration, it is speeding up, and when an object has a negative acceleration, it is slowing down. Through watching this video, you will see that this is not actually true. To further discuss this idea of speeding up and slowing down, we are going to analyze this velocity versus time graph. As you can see, there are four distinct intervals within this graph that we are going to analyze the velocity, acceleration, and see if the object is speeding up or slowing down based on its initial and final velocities. For this analysis, we don't really care what the actual values are for the velocity and acceleration, we just want to know their signs. So within the velocity and acceleration columns, we are simply going to put whether it's positive or negative. When we are analyzing the sign of the velocity, we simply want to see if the portion of the graph is above or below the x-axis. If it is above the x-axis, the velocity will be positive, and if it is below the x-axis, the velocity will be negative. When we are analyzing the sign of the acceleration, we simply want to see if the slope of the graph is either positive or negative, since the acceleration is equal to the slope of a velocity versus time graph. Let's first start with the time interval 0 to 3 seconds, which covers this portion of the graph. Looking at this section of the graph, we see that we start at a velocity of 0 meters per second, and then increase to 1 meter per second, and then 2 meter per second, and all the way to 4 meters per second. Take note that all the velocities I mentioned are positive, and that our line is above the x-axis, so we know that the velocity is positive. When we are looking at the slope of this red line, we also see that it has a positive slope, and therefore a positive acceleration. Now let's look to see if the object is speeding up for this section, or slowing down for this section of the graph. The velocity starts at 0 meters per second, which is also known as rest, and increases all the way to 4 meters per second. This increase in velocity from 0 meters per second to 4 meters per second suggests that the object is speeding up. Alrighty, so now we're going to continue the same analysis, but for the remaining three portions of the graph. Let's analyze the time 3 to 5 seconds, which is this purple portion of the graph. We see that the graph is above the x-axis, so we know the velocity is positive. And now this line now has a negative slope, so we know that there's a negative acceleration. And during this time interval of 3 to 5 seconds, it begins with a velocity of 4 meters per second and ends with a velocity of 0 meters per second, also known as rest. Since it started with a velocity and ended at rest, we know that the object was slowing down. Next, we will analyze the graph from 5 to 8 seconds. We see that the graph is now below the x-axis, and if we look at the y values these points have, we see that now they all have negative velocities, so our velocity is now negative. And the slope of the line is still negative, so we see that the acceleration is also negative. Next, we look at the starting and ending velocities. We see that it started with a velocity of 0 meters per second, also known as rest, and we increased to a speed of 4 meters per second in the negative direction. That's why we have a velocity of negative 4. Since we started at rest and reached a speed of 4 meters per second, we know that the object was speeding up. And lastly, we will analyze the portion of the graph from 8 to 10 seconds. The graph is still below the x-axis, so we know it still has a negative velocity. And the slope of the graph is again positive, so we have a positive acceleration. And we started with a speed of 4 meters per second in the negative direction and ended with a speed of 0 meters per second, or rest. And since we had a decrease in speed, we know that the object was slowing down. Now this analysis of speeding up or slowing down does not always look as neat and tidy as analyzing a graph. To help us in the future, we should see if there are any trends with speeding up and slowing down and the velocity and the acceleration. So if we look at the table, we see that an object is speeding up when the velocity was positive and the acceleration was positive, or when the velocity was negative and the acceleration was negative. So whenever velocity and acceleration have the same signs, either both positive or both negative, we know that an object is speeding up. And if we look at the table for when the object was slowing down, we see that the velocity is positive and the acceleration is negative, 
or the velocity is negative and the acceleration is positive. So whenever the velocity and acceleration have different signs, we know that an object is slowing down.